Yeah, what do you think you are in, in the return game coming out of spring? What, what do you like that you got? What's that competition look like there? As far as start with punt returns, um, you know, you got Squirrel. He's done it in games around here and, and been really electric. And you prob we probably got about five other guys that are truly legit. So that competition is really ongoing and will go through the summer and into fall camp. But I'll tell you what, whoever is back there is going to be absolutely dynamite. And, and we're going we're gonna to continue on the trajectory we've started for three years here. And we'll, this will be our best year, guaranteed. Kickoff return, same thing. We've got a lot of new guys, um, a lot of guys with different skill sets, which really uh, we've evaluated in the spring, feel really good about where we're headed in the kickoff return unit. And again, it should be our best year yet and not even close. I would assume Boo Carter is one of the guys you're looking at as a returner. As a freshman, obviously hasn't played. Squirrel's played a lot. How do you like determine a trust factor when a guy hasn't played at that position? You know, I've been I've been other places and in, in, in this conference too, where we had a true freshman back there, and he was an All American. So I don't I don't bat an eye. And if they're ready, they're ready. And Boo Carter, I'm not saying he's a guy, but he's in that competition. And Boo Carter, he don't care if he's in front of 102,000. He don't care if he's in front of five people, he's, he's boo. And he's so locked in and focused on what he does. He's, he's just a great football player. Irregardless if he's our returner this year, he's gonna play a ton of ball around here. Absolutely love that guy, he's just a great football player. Coach, what have you seen in terms of progression from Jackson Ross compared to last season as it going into his sophomore year? You look at it and it was his first year of football and he's never played other than Aussie rules football. So Jackson right now, We've developed a system around his skill set. He's probably the only guy in the country who can kick it equally well with his right and left foot. And he's got some other skill sets we haven't shown yet. So we're really excited about it. And he'll come up just last week. He came up. And he's like, hey, heck, I like this kick. And I like this. And, you know, so we build protections, build our, our scheme around his skill set. So it's really it's a unique relationship. Um, and he's got a unique skill set, and he's, he's an awesome guy, great to work with. And so you should see him take his game to a whole nother level. And you look at it last year, he, 17 of his 55 punts, he killed inside the 10. And I said it after the first game, I screwed that up. And I told you guys, he was going to be a damn weapon. That's what he is. Just how beneficial is it for some of the young guys, like linebackers, defensive backs, to get reps on special teams? And who are some guys you expect to contribute in that way? There's, there's way too many to list. But what's really cool about this, this whole system, I mean, you go into our special teams meetings, hype is in the front row. And hype, I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll jump in and say, hey, he'll talk all about the technique. He'll, he'll coach it just as, hey, hey I, I got this one. So you've got a head ball coach who every single day after practice, he comes in my office and we sit down and he is, we've worked tirelessly to develop a system that starts with stance and start, logical teaching progression that makes sense to our guys and our verbiage on offense and defense. We speak the same language as a football team. So everybody, the, the verbiage we use, again, it, it goes over and we talk all about all the time about transferable skills and everything we do on special teams is making you a better football player. There's no if, ands or buts about it. And our guys understand that. So that's where you get the buy in and, and guys, I mean, shoot, if you want to play in the league, I mean, you better be on teams, man. You got a 53 man roster and, and 48 suit up on game day. So those numbers, man, you, you better have a, you, you better have a good skill set. Kind of on that note, is there a specific type of player, characteristic, intangibles that you look for uh, in the, um, the coverage units, the kickoff, the punts? Yeah, you're looking for guys who really have great field awareness, who, guys who are fluid, who can run and strike. And again, they understand, the, they've got a really good understanding of time and space and balmy man relationships. And, but all of our guys on this team, the way we've taught it, 
I mean, they all get it. So we've just got, yesterday, we have a whole matrix that we sit down. Every single player has got six columns by their name in the six special teams unit. And then we rank them on the team. So spring ball is about identifying every single one of our players' skill set, what they can do, where we can plug them in. And then it goes into you know how much they're playing on offense, how much they're playing on defense. Just what you said about getting those young guys, getting those young guys game reps, getting them a part of it. And so when they, they're out there on offense and defense, they don't bat an eye. Been there, done that. And that's, what, that's what's fun about how we've developed this and where we're continuing to develop. I know you didn't coach him, but uh, Jalen Reeves Maven obviously made a name for himself uh, on special teams in the NFL. Do you do you discuss with the guys? Just I mean, this is a guy who played here. Um, you know, went, is, is a Pro Bowler as a special teamer. Well, were um, you in our meeting league. yesterday? You oh. sneak in? Did I not see you? Uh, yeah, I was in the back. All right. No, that's a great question. That's a great question. I was mess. I was just messing with you. But we, yes, just yesterday, just yesterday, we did that. Exactly what you're talking about. We had Theo Jackson blocking a, blocking a kick. We had Elante Taylor going down, covering, covering punts and um, on the punt return. And then, oh, by the way, guys, here he was at Tennessee doing the same thing. And so 100% what you said. I mean, that's, we want those guys to see guys that sat in those seats and that are now doing it at the highest level and, and getting paid to do it. So absolutely. Um, back here, having Squirrel White um, in the back for returns, what kind of excites you most about having him there, especially when you consider his speed? Squirrel is fearless. And he's one of the toughest players on this team. Because everything we do, we, we, you know, we talk about putting our face on people and being physical. And Squirrel, Squirrel's not going to back down from anybody. I mean, it don't matter who it is. So you got a guy back there. Squir Squirrel, don't tell him. But I think he thinks he's like 6'8", 3'10". I mean, he, he thinks he's like all jacked up. But that guy, he got it. He's got, un, he's electric. He can, you know, make you miss in a phone booth. And he's tough. He's got unbelievable ball skills. He's, just, he's what you want in a football player. Hey, appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me.